Here's a replay of the first episode of our new tutorial series for DV, the web design playground. If you'd like to catch the next one live, please join our DV Lovers Facebook group. Okay, I think we are live. Uh, hi everyone, it's my first time doing a Facebook live, so please bear with me. <laughs> I hope you can all hear and see me well. Uh, there is a bit of delay, so I assume that everything works correctly and if it doesn't, just uh, let me know uh, in the comments. Okay, so hi, in case we haven't met, my name is Ania Romańska and I am here today to start my new uh, tutorial series for DV and I call it the web design uh, playground. Um, the idea is to basically create a website, a DV website, and week after week, uh, I'm going to work on the same exact site and hopefully get your feedback and your suggestions on what to add next, uh, what to edit, and so on. So the main purpose of the website would be to display all these videos, all these tutorials on how it was uh, made. So anytime I add uh, a bit of code or mention some resource, I would include that on that website uh, as well. So hopefully you like the idea. And uh, yes, I think uh, it would be awesome if we could do this every week and just create some uh, fun uh, project together. So, uh, okay, uh, let me show you. I haven't uh, started uh, the website creation yet, but I did made a, a, a little design, like I call it the design tile. So if you can uh, look here on my screen, and this is my illustrator file. I just did like, I, I haven't made a full homepage layout or anything, just a, a little bits of typography and colors I would like to uh, use on that new side. And I did include these icons in the main uh, navigation. So this is the part I would like to focus on uh, today as a start. So uh, hopefully uh, I will be able to show you how we can achieve these fun icons uh, on our uh, DV website. Okay, so let's go uh, back here. Here's my own site on the DV Lover site. You can see that I also have nice uh, icons in the uh, navigation and um, what's nice about it is that you can actually change uh, their color. Like it works kind of like uh, icon font. So it's uh, similar to the little icons that are included uh, in DV, but uh, these are more complex. This is um, SVG um, code. It's not an image because if we, if I would use an SVG image here, I wouldn't be able to s create the smooth transition to, to change the uh, color of it. So, um, like I said, Th these are SVGs and I added them using some uh, JavaScript and it's very simple and I will show you how we can uh, recreate the similar effect for our new site. So, okay, here is uh, the website would be hosted at the playground.developer.com URL. So I I'm planning to build something, <laughs> something very nice on, on this page, but as you can see, it's just a start. So today let's focus on the navigation. I also, okay, just a quick note. I also uh, recorded a quick video on how I installed the WordPress and DV team here. I'm using the flywheel hosting. And let me tell you, it is very short video. It took me like a minute to set up. I had some, uh, a bit, um, bit more to set up as a subdomain, but basically it was very, very easy to get this WordPress website up and running on Flywheel. It's like, I love Flywheel, the, their dashboard is beautiful. But like I said, 
I will include that in the in a separate video. Today, we already have our DV installed, but it's it's empty. It's just a sample page uh, here. So uh, what I would like to do first is create our main pages. So page, add new, and uh, looking back at my uh, illustrator uh, illustrator file. We have home, tutorials, resources, and community. These are the uh, four main pages I would like to have. Like home would be basically like, <laughs> yes, the home page with some general information. On the tutorials page, I would list the, that would be our blog index page. So it would list all the episodes, all the videos I'm just recording. And uh, on the resources page, we would have a list of all the links or tools I'm, I might mention uh, in these uh, tutorials. And the community tab uh, is uh, where I would like to uh, share some information how people can join our lovely group of DV lovers or uh, join my uh, newsletter. OK, so we have four pages, home, tutorials, resources, and uh, community. So back to Chrome. Let me just uh, exit the full screen mode so it doesn't open full screen each time I create a new page. And uh, let's do tutorials. Let's publish. And I also uh, disable the pre-publish checks so it's quicker. And then another page. resources and community. We can use the sample page as our home page. So back here we have sample page. I will use the quick edit option and we can change that to our home page. OK, but um, that is something I would like to address because I know it is confusing for um, beginners. So when you first install DV, the, your home page lists, it's, lists your uh, blog posts. The Hello World is the title of a single first blog post that's added uh, in WordPress by default. So in order to um, change that page to a different one, we need to go to settings and reading. And now your home page can display a static page. And I will choose my home page and the post page. That's the confusing part. I think uh, I will choose the Mm, tutorials to be my posts page and if I save now just to show you real quick go back here I will refresh and that's the home page on my uh, main URL and tutorials page would be the page that lists my posts and mm, normal uh, normally we can't enable the visual builder the TV builder on that page because if I add any content here, it won't be um, it won't be displayed. This is the index page. We can only edit it using the DV theme builder, but uh, we're going to get to that maybe next week to set up our uh, single post um, template. I think that would be a good idea. But for now, like I said, let's do our main um, navigation. And as you can see, uh, DV by default also includes all your pages and even categories in the main menu. But that is only until you assign a menu that you create yourself. So under um, menus here or here appearance menus, you can create a new menu. Let's call it main menu. And now let's add all our pages in here. And if I set it as my primary menu, it would 
uh, display instead of this uh, default one. So back here we have our homepage, tutorials, community and resources. Actually, let's move that this way. Okay, uh, one an additional thing. One second, I think I just... Okay, so uh, one additional thing I would like to uh, change uh, here is to add um, CSS class to, um, to each of the menu items. I need to first uh, enable that option in the screen options and CSS classes. And now just one second. I think I just lost my, oh, never mind. Okay, so uh, once the um, CSS classes are enabled, uh, we have this field here and I will add uh, a new CSS class for each menu item. So then I can target this uh, um, menu elements with my uh, custom code for adding different icons to different menu items. So let's do DL home and here DL tutorials DL resources and community. Okay, let's save that. And now we won't see any changes, but when I inspect this, let's see if our classes are here. We have Lee with a class of DL home. Just, oh, sorry, you can't see it because of my face. So here there is this Lee element with a class of DL uh, home. Okay, so to uh, display our SVG. First, how do I get SVG code from the SVG file? I have um, each of the elements I created uh, here, each of the icons, I have it saved as, um, as my uh, icon file, SVG file on my computer. So now if I, there is this uh, website I always use that uh, optimizes the, optimizes the SVG files. If you Google SVG OMG, that's the link uh, you'll see as your first option. I will share that link uh, in the on the website, on the resources page. But here, uh, basically, uh, if I um, drag my uh, icon here and just drop it, it would... Hmm. Actually, that's not... Oh, okay, so uh, we did too, um, too many optimi optimization. So let's see. Let's see what that... Hmm. Usually I just leave it at default. Let's see what, you see it adds all sorts of different. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's do the, uh, the original for now. So that's the, oh, okay. So this is very uh, complex. Actually, let me maybe resave that file once again. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, copy this for now. Let's remove the CSS. Um,
Okay, so I'm copying that SVG uh, code from here. And now in uh, DV um, uh, team options, DV team options, uh, integration tab. I will uh, use a child team, but that's maybe for, uh, for later. For now, uh, let's just do the, add our JavaScript inside the, um, inside our integration tab just here in the head section. So if I just simply add a script tag and then close it, and here we are going to add a jQuery function. So let me quickly uh, copy my the beginning of jQuery. And now back here, let me copy the SVG code. Okay, so uh, this basically tells uh, the browser to uh, treat every uh, dollar symbol as jQuery uh, element. So now we can target uh, our um, menu item like so. DL community and direct ancestor link. So we want to target the A element inside the Lee with the custom CSS class. And I'm going to use the prepend method which basically allows us to add anything we want before the element that is targeted. So here uh, I will pass my, paste my SVG code. Okay, and let's save that. And now if I refresh my page, it didn't work. <laughs> Let's see. Inspect. Okay, there is there are some errors in the console. Okay, there is a dot here. So the SVG. Um, let's remove the style tag from here. Okay, that should be better. The optimization tool didn't work as I hoped it would, but let's save that and let's refresh. Let's see if we have our icon. It's on line 61. So back here. Okay, that's the probably, let me check real quick, image, let's do everything. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's fix that. I knew that something like this will happen. I should probably be a bit better prepared right <laughs> okay so okay that was the remote <laughs> the last one let me just refresh that page once again and let me paste my file once again okay now i have to so i will now optimize all these lovely options until i know that my icon looks good and the code is also optimized. Okay, so yeah, someone is um, actually mentions that I should change the change the um, quote that I used to a double quote. That is possible, but I kind of do want to have my SVG code cleaned up. So hopefully just bear with me. Okay, and now it looks like this, much nicer. Let's go back here. 
and add this here like so okay it's it still breaks somewhere let's try with the double quotes no the oh okay it was okay it was fine just the beginning is there we go okay now it's lovely dude it's highlighted correctly so i think we are all set just a minor setback let's refresh <gasps> no it's still not there Okay, here, oh, I know what you meant now. <laughs> yes, obviously, that was the problem, not the SVG code. Yay, okay, now I'm back with you. <laughs> Let's save that. There we go, lovely. Now let's quickly do all the others. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> yes, exactly, mm -hmm. thanks. Um, okay, let's do quickly a new one. So a new image. Let's drag it here. And now it would be ready for us. I didn't notice it here. So yeah. The next one. It's going to use quotes as it should. So DL home a Free band like this, and the next one back here. Let's get our code for the resources icon. Thank you, Nikki, for. <laughs> for trying to save me. <laughs> okay, let's pretend this SVG. And the last one was for uh, tutorials, right? The, this one, yes, okay. Okay. Phew, that was a lot of code to add, but let's save that and refresh. Lovely, now we have our uh, pretty icons here. Now let's uh, make sure these are all similar size. And let's actually make it look a bit nicer. But uh, let's um, use the theme builder instead of the default uh, DV menu. So back in the dashboard, DV theme builder. Let's build a global header. Let's start building. Back here. Build from scratch. Okay, now we're here. Uh, let's add a menu module with our main menu. Let's also uh, add a logo image, but I do want to use SVG as an image. So let me save that. Close that for a moment. And um, 
let's just open here but uh, i do want to add a quickly add a new plugin to be able to upload svg images to uh, to my website we could use a custom code but let's just quickly uh, install this uh, simple plugin and it should uh, work uh, right away so let's activate this okay and now back in the theme builder I refresh the page oh that wasn't a good idea I didn't save it so but that's okay let's um, menu and use a logo image I have my logo as an SVG here and using it um, in form of SVG will make sure that it's nice and crisp so let's just decrease the size a bit maybe to pixel value okay like so and now uh, our um, links. I'm going to use Bebas Neue, I think it's German font, maybe. <laughs> okay, so have you seen the new uh, global colors option in DV? I was working on a new child theme yesterday, so that was released just in a perfect moment for me. So now we have this global uh, settings for all the colors uh, we choose in the DV builder. And here we can add, uh, well, global colors. And then when we edit them, it will edit globally across the entire website. It's very cool and it works works uh, really, uh, really well. I already uh, played with that for a while. So, so yeah, let's, uh, I have my, um, my hex code saved here. Mm. Let me add this real quick. Copy this. Okay, and the last one. Okay, so this would be the link color. And let's make that font a bit bigger. Nice and big, actually. Mm, let's use this. That was the active menu link color. So let's maybe active one could be um, actually white, but let's do that later. So let's leave this empty and here. OK, and let's align the text to the right uh, right side. Okay, let's save. Let's see how that looks with our icons. Oh, okay, so I have to save and also save the changes here. I always forget to do that. Not sure why my why my icons didn't show up here. Let's close that. I should probably test that uh, earlier. Let's maybe stick to the um, default menu for now. So let me. Um, Let's save that for later. I will export that. Mm. 
it's fine and now I will remove it and let's maybe customize the default uh, navigation hmm, that wasn't really what I had in mind but let's see So we can set our fonts in the uh, header and navigation primary. Let's find our Bebas Noya here. Let's make it a bit bigger. My screen is not big enough. Oh, there they are. Let's use this color also for the active link. Okay, now let's fix that with uh, CSS. Let's also add our logo here. So back in the dashboard Divi team, uh, uh, team options. Let's choose our image and uh, let's add um, some CSS to make this navigation um, look a bit nicer. The logo is way too big. Let's make it that big. So DV by default changes the font weight of your uh, menu to 500, I think. Let me see. So we have to fix the font weight wait for sure let's see the you see it's 600 it's for all the eight at the uh, et top navigation so this we want this to be 400 like so We also uh, want to add some more space between the elements. So the space is the, um, you can see when I hover over here, the box model uh, shows that the green part is a padding. So it's a padding on each Lee element and it's right padding 22 pixels. So we can increase that and let's do padding right 40 pixels. It's a good start, I guess. Well, to be honest, I kind of don't want to stick to the default navigation. I do want to change it to um, to the team builder. I'm not sure why my uh, JavaScript uh, doesn't display icons in, um, in this version of navigation. So maybe uh, uh, we can uh, finish at this point. I will do some troubleshooting and back, get back to you and we can finish that properly for the next time. Uh, hopefully that was kind of helpful. I will add uh, the code into a new uh, post here and also uh, you'll be able to watch these videos on my YouTube channel and then I will add them here on this website as well. And I hope we can do that uh, together. So uh, 
do let me know if um, if there is anything specific you would like me to work on I uh, kind of need to um, uh, troubleshoot this and I don't want to waste your time uh, here live so uh, let's finish that navigation along with the mobile menu which is quite important and uh, hopefully we can uh, do uh, it in a nice way with icons as I have said for for the DV Lover website uh, but let me get back to you on that and I'm uh, I hope to get some feedback from you if you think that these kind of videos are helpful and if you want to build the website uh, together with me week after week I think it would be fun uh, we have a bit of a rough uh, beginning with nothing working as I expected it to work but that's okay that happens it's normal like it usually that's what happens you try to do something and then it doesn't work you have to troubleshoot so uh, so yeah let me uh, uh, finish that uh, next week oh and one another uh, like housekeeping note I hope uh, you like the idea of the feedback Friday we are having in the group so uh, basically if you can uh, if you would like to get some feedback from other uh, web designers or DV users uh, we have a lot of people in the group just add a new uh, post and tag it with the uh, Friday feedback um, uh, tag uh, hashtag and then maybe write a few words about what the website is about what was the goals and then we can um, chime in and share some comments uh, maybe you know it's always uh, great to get another set of eyes on your designs because it's um, it's hard to do it uh, on your own and I know many of us work uh, by the by ourselves uh, so it's great to have this connection and be able to uh, get that feedback but the one thing I would like to encourage is when you uh, asking for feedback also search the group for the same hashtag and find other posts from uh, different users who uh, ask uh, for opinion on their designs and then we can uh, this way we can get this conversation going so I will do that uh, next week I won't give up <laughs> I won't let this uh, minor technical uh, issues um, pull me down I really like the idea I hope you like it too so uh, let's build a fun web design playground together let me know if there's anything specific you would like me to uh, walk you through or uh, cover in in these videos and uh, yeah enjoy your Valentine's Day this weekend and uh, I see you uh, next time bye